Former AG Bill Barr, and good morning to you. Good Janet morning. Yellen says it's an area of cooperation, <clears throat> which I think is kind of curious. You say the CCP is knee deep in this, not just a bystander. Right, and this was a bipartisan report. This mm -hmm. committee is a bipartisan committee. Both parties, uh, members of both parties, signed off on this report. Yeah, I don't blame people for trying to cooperate with China and trying to negotiate. We did, and and uh, I don't blame this administration for trying. But it's clear that they're not acting in good faith. And when they do something, it's window dressing. They're knee deep in this. They're active. The question all along is: Are they just bystanders watching this traffic? Uh, just don't want to interfere because we're the ones being hurt, or are they active? sins of commission and it's clear from this report that they're knee deep in it they are complicit in the trafficking and they're driving the trafficking they're incentivizing the trafficking can i ask you why why do you think they're doing that i think a big part of it is strategic uh, that is uh they believe this weakens the united states it it tells the world that we're a decadent society and that a disciplined society like china's the future uh, and uh, it distracts us. And so if it's bad for us, it's good for them. Do you see any improvement between now and November? In this trafficking? Yes. No, I think we're going to have to get much tougher with the Chinese. Well, that makes it an election issue then. It should. The and, 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 you know, look, the Chinese and the Mexicans give us happy talk. They're not cooperating. They're both complicit in the, in the trafficking, in my opinion. And uh, we have to start getting much tougher with them. Yesterday, they seated seven jurors total uh, since the Trump hush money trial has begun here in New York City. It's quite a spectacle, quite an event. Um, I know that you think that the prosecution seems uh, far-fetched, maybe yeah. the best uh, way I could, uh, maybe that's the kindest way that I can say that. Um, your thoughts as to how this is going now that it's underway and what well, you think about it? Well, I, I've said from the beginning, this, this case is an abomination. You know, it's obviously political. Seven years after he pays hush money to try to come up with this case. It's also, as you say, it's not only far-fetched, it, 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 they're trying to predicate it on a federal crime, which wasn't prosecuted, and they're wrong about it. This was not uh, a, a, a campaign contribution. They're just wrong on the law. But to me, this shows uh, that the real threat to liberty uh, the real threat to our system are the excesses of the progressive mm. left. They, they're perverting the system of justice, uh, and you know that's where the danger lies, the corruption and subversion of our institutions by the left. Uh, I heard you call this hush money case outrageous. Um, and I also know you've been asked many times, you've had your disagreements with the former president. Um, he's the presumptive nominee. We assume he will be the nominee. Will you support him in 2024? Well, I've said all along, you know, given two bad choices, I think it's my duty to pick the person I think would do the least harm to the country. And in, in my mind, that's, uh, I will vote the Republican mm, ticket. You I will. will support the Republican ticket. I think the real danger to the country, the real danger to democracy, as I say, is the progressive agenda. And uh, while Trump, and I said, uh, Trump may be uh, playing Russian roulette, but uh, continuation of the Biden administration is national suicide, in my opinion. Yesterday, the Supreme Court heard um, a case about obstruction charges against some of the January 6th riot defendants, but it also has an impact possibly on the a future uh, legal event that President Trump's going to have to deal with. Listen to Justice Neil Gorsuch yesterday. Would a sit-in that disrupts a trial or access to a federal courthouse qualify? Would a heckler in today's audience qualify or at the State of the Union address? Would pulling a fire alarm uh, uh, before a vote qualify. You're the best at explaining legal arguments and where justices are going to the rest of us who are not lawyers. What should we know? So uh, before I became AG, I wrote a 19-page memo on this topic. A lot of people were raising this when I was confirmed. I did it as a private citizen, and it was on this provision. And I said it was being carried much too far, and it has to be restricted to the impairment of it, the impairment of evidence, like the destruction of documents and things like that. It just can't be used the way they're using it, and it's very comprehensive. And now several courts have agreed, and I think the Supreme Court is going to rule that way. Well, uh, if that's the case, then you have hundreds of January 6 defendants who are in jail. Right. And the whole idea about this obstruction charge was born out of the Enron disaster of the early 2000s. Right. And Jack Smith is also, he has a count against the former president right. for obstruction. Right. What would be the end result of that? So he's going to try to differentiate that. I think, you know, things like a riot, uh, I think they are going to... Uh, 
be let free if, if the court rules the way I think they should rule on the law. And that's not to say I think that those rioters who broke in are justified. I'm just saying this was a misapplication of the law. What Smith is going to argue is that the effort to enlist uh, the false uh, panels involved the tampering of evidence, the, the creation of false evidence to present to Congress, and therefore this could be covered by that provision. So he's going to try to differentiate his situation from its application to demonstrators. And a week from tomorrow, we get the immunity <clears throat> arguments for the Supreme Court as well. I'd like to talk about that next time around. Yeah, yeah it's definitely. great to have you here yeah, in New York. Thank you so much. Have a great Thanks. day. Yeah. Thanks. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.